the format of being robot. Usually, sitting outside and enjoying the sun is not my thing to do. You see, I'm a full-time gamer, and pretty much love every single one. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh wow, he's just going to tell us about some horrible life experience he had with games and tell us that he will never play them again. How cliche. I will tell you of my horrible life experience with a game but don't think I will give up my love just like that. It's the only thing I have. I am truly alone. The game runs on Unity, and there is no way you will find it on the internet. Don't even think about it. On the weekend, I would browse the internet for cool free games until my eyes turned bloodshot. Usually, I would go on to Game Jolt but every once in a while I got a tiny bit adventurous. That's how I found, alone, the game. Trust me if it sounds stupid to you now, I was pretty much laughing my ass off about the name then. So I downloaded it and found all of the parts of the game in a little zip file. Control.txt, settings.txt, alone.exe, and an AVI file entitled, alonewatch.avi. It was about two minutes long, and I decided to watch it to see if it had any clues about the game inside. The video was blacked for about 30 seconds before it zoomed in on a person in their computer chair, looking at the screen. Oddly enough, it looked quite like my computer chair. And hey, it even had a can of soda on the disc, that's when I realized that I was looking at myself. First, I sank down into my chair and was so scared that I swear I shit myself, but after that was over, I immediately started to rationalize the situation. Someone was watching me. That was for sure. Still, there were three more questions left and answered. Who, how, and why? I looked behind me for a split second before returning to the computer screen. Unbelievable. The exe file name had changed itself. Playnow.exe now stood before me. I knew what I had to do. I double-clicked and prepared for the worst. The game started out in a small forest where you played as a man with a small handgun. A message popped onto the screen saying, head to the house now. After it said that I looked up onto the badly designed hill and found what I was looking for. Oddly enough, I learned that if you stay idle without pausing long enough, the game starts playing itself. I mean sure the man walks at a much slower pace and pretty much walks like a mentally diverse child, but still he will inch closer to the house. Halfway to the house, I began to realize similarities between my apartment and the house I was walking to in-game. Suddenly I began to realize that whatever had stalked me had great knowledge of every detail in my area. Soon I came upon the place where all of the homeless people sleep at night. I decided to pause there and get some rest. I quit the game and went straight to sleep. I had nightmares that night of whatever was stalking me. But I knew I had to finish the game. My musty apartment sucked, and when I woke up my neighbor was angry because there was a leak in his apartment and decided he needed to tell the whole world about it. I got up, turned on my TV, and flipped on the news to see if anything good had happened to America. That's when I saw something that made me gag. Six homeless people killed near waterfront. I turned off the TV and went to the bathroom expecting to vomit my guts out. I didn't, and I immediately went to my computer to check the game. The EXE name changed again, this time to, notalone.exe. I was so scared that I began to cry, and immediately began talking about how alone I was, how my dad died and my mom gave me up, and how I was raised in the orphanage for life because nobody wanted me. After crying I knew I had to play the game. When I started he had moved to the apartment doors. But this time I couldn't move my character. I could only watch. He shot everyone in the lobby. Everyone. He then reloaded and hopped on the elevator. Floor 7. My floor. I tried pausing, no use. Shutting off my PC didn't work either as it said that it couldn't close the game. As I looked away, the door flew open, and it all went black. I woke up in the ER, and they said that they had caught the man who did it all to me and everyone who lost their lives. I felt like it was all my fault. They said that before the killer was shot by police he immediately stated his name. Dan Springfield. My father's name. Was that why my mother said he was brain dead? I couldn't know for sure. 
All I knew is that everyone was safe from him. I write this from the hospital with the laptop they gave me. Everything seems to be going, wait. I hear gunshots, are they sure they killed him? I think he's coming. I am starting to hear footsteps down the hall.